What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of Mornings with Lee, your favorite self-aware narcissist. This morning, we're going to be talking about narcissists when they ask you to block someone you don't know. When a narcissist asks you to block someone that you've never met before. Ugh, this is an obscure topic, but it happens to so many people, right? It happens to way too many people. It absolutely does. Like, and what, <clears throat> what I mean by this is that narcissistic people, like, let's say you are just getting to know this person. You're just in getting into a relationship. You just started dating this person, right? And all of a sudden you get a message on Facebook or Instagram from a, a person of the opposite sex or a per person of whatever sex the narcissist is attracted to, right? And it's a message, you, you know, the, the, the typical message, message is so it goes something like, you know, I'm coming to you as a woman or I'm coming to you at, you know, man to man or something like that. And they say something about your partner. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, y'all. They say, they say something about your partner who might be like, let's say the partner, your partner is me because this actually happened to me in real life. <clears throat> your partner is me, right? Um, and it's like, hey, I didn't even talk to you about Lee. He, me and him have been seeing each other. He never mentioned you or whatever. And then you come and ask me. You say, hey, Lee, um, I got this message on Instagram from this girl. She said, um, oh, I got the message on Facebook from this girl. She said she knows you and y'all were dating and y'all were talking or whatever. Um, what happened? Uh, who's this? Oh, I don't know. It's, she's crazy. Go ahead and block her, babe. Go ahead and block her. Block her before she tries to ruin what we have. Oh, that's my that's one of my exes from the past. That's my ex's friend. She's crazy. Please don't respond to her. Just go ahead and block her. She's out of her mind. <clears throat> that happens all the time. I promise you, I have messages just like that from my wife. Because I was talking to this other girl when me and my wife met. And you know, I wasn't, I wasn't taking my wife seriously. I mean, we were just we had literally just started like talking. And <clears throat> I met, I was already, I was already talking to this other girl when I met my wife and this girl found out. Um, <laughs> and she's, it's not funny, but she sent my wife a message and I was like, Oh God, my heart dry. I was like, Hey, she's crazy. Go ahead and block her. She's just jealous or whatever. You know, she's this crazy girl and my wife blocked her. <clears throat> but I was like, I was saying, because I was actually talking to all, if they tell you to look, could it be true? Let's say this right here. Could it be absolutely true that that person this messaging you? is crazy or was crazy and treated them horribly. Yeah, it could be true. But a lot of times when they don't, when the narcissistic person in your life immediately resorts to calling somebody crazy or jealous or bitter, there's usually something there. There's usually something there. Is Could it be that the person is really crazy? Yeah, it, it could be true. But sometimes that person is telling the truth and the narcissist, instead of wanting to do, deal with it, just tells you to immediately block them. Hey, just go ahead and block them. They're crazy. They're going to ruin what we have. I care about you so much. Me and you have, like, I've never felt this way about anybody except for you. And I care about you and I love you. Oops, did I say I love you? Well, I do. I don't want them to ruin this. Go ahead and block them, please. <clears throat> and then you block them, and that's the end of it. Or is it? Because, because now you've blocked them, the narcissist out here goes and keeps doing the same thing. They can go back and talk to that person. And tell the other person to go ahead and block you, or hey, this girl. I'm. Oh, they'll tell the. They'll tell their old. They'll tell their, their ex or whoever it is is messaging you that you're crazy, that you're jealous, that you're bitter, and stuff like that. And then they'll block you, and then they can keep balance. They can keep this balancing act going on. They can have both of y'all, or all three, or four, or five of y'all at the same time, because now y'all blocked each other, and you've blindly, blindly believed this person who hasn't earned your trust, you know, <clears throat> or. You've been in a relationship. You mad? You you give it, y'all. Yo, you can be married to this person, and the same thing happened. Their affair partner reaches out to you and say, "Hey, I'm coming to you as a woman. I'm coming to you as a man, man to man, bro to bro, brother to brother, whatever it is." And then they, your partner, your husband, your wife immediately tells you to block them. Yeah, to me, that's red flaggy. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's super red flaggy. They tell you to block somebody that you've never met, that they claim they claim to be crazy or whatever. That's immediately red flaggy. It should, it should fire, yeah, yeah. It should fire these up. I always, I always got one handy. It should unsheathe your red flag. Shh. That's red flag. You see what I'm saying? It should unsheathe that for, for you. That's what should happen. It should make you think like that. It should make you behave. It should make your mind start 
the it should make your mind start turning like that. Y'all, the wheel should in your mind should start turning because it's red flaggy. Like if you, especially if you're married, if you're married to this person, go ahead and talk to this person. They could like say, good. Could they be lying? Yeah. Or they could be get ready to drop screenshots in your inbox. They could be getting ready to drop screenshots and stuff in your inbox or give you the proof that you need. But you listen to your husband or listen to your wife or boyfriend, girlfriend, you went ahead and blocked them. I know some people will block him because you don't you don't really want to know. Like, I really don't want to know if this is you know, if y'all just getting to know each other and y'all feel like your relationship isn't that serious. You might just go ahead and do it because you you really you really want to get to know this person, or you giving, or you giving them the benefit of the doubt. Y'all be giving y'all 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 be giving way too many people the benefit of the doubt. You actually do. You see what I'm saying? You actually actually do. This happens to so many people, and I tell y'all. This is narcissistic people. This is how narcissistic my, narcissist minds work. They want to keep doing what they're doing, and instead of just handling the issue, and it, in my in my issue, it really wasn't that serious. There was like, in my issue, it really wasn't that serious. I just didn't want it because we had just me and my wife had literally just started dating. I could have just said, "Oh yeah, this is girl I was talking to, and I don't talk to her anymore." She she's mad because she really was mad. That's the reason. That's the reason why she was reaching out to my wife. Because she really was, it was my girlfriend at the time. Well, Joe, we're just getting to know each other. But that's, she was really mad. She so it was true that she was mad, but she was about to tell the truth. She was angry about to tell the truth, but the truth really shouldn't have mattered there because we had just started dating. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, hey, I was talking to her. <clears throat> I no longer talk to her. I talk to you. And then you could ask her that. Instead, I immediately jumped to go ahead and block her, babe. You know what I'm saying? She's crazy. Go ahead and block Lamar. Go ahead and block her, babe. I don't know who that is. She's. She's crazy. <laughs> Watch the eye twitches, y'all. It's my, micro expressions. Watch it. Like, look up micro expressions. You'll you'll learn a lot about face twitches and things like that. Yeah. <clears throat> I've learned so much about micro expressions. Um, and it's helped me understand narcissists and toxic people, how the how the minds of them, how the minds work. But even yeah, you know, and other people, <clears throat> not just narcissists, learn about micro expressions can teach you about a lot of other people as well, y'all. The narcissistic people will tell you to block people that you don't know, y'all. That should send the red flags up. You know what I mean? Because coming to find out, and this, this is how so many people's stories go, coming to find out that person was about to expose your narcissistic partner. That person, that person was about to expose your narcissistic husband, your cheating husband or wife, right? They really were. And because you wouldn't have gave your partner the benefit of the doubt, you hadn't blocked them without any, you know, with a, without a second thought. You might have had a second thought, but you didn't want to start anything. You didn't want to ruin what y'all had going on. Because it really could be over. The person really could be blah, 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 blah. You know, I get it. Yeah. <clears throat> Trust me when I say this. I understand why so many people fall into that trap, right? I, I, have to, I absolutely understand it. So it makes sense to me when people fall into those, like I said, when people fall into those traps. It does. It does make sense to me. So you have to, like I said, in these spaces, you have to understand that like narcissists are going to try to protect themselves by any means necessary. They just are. This is how it works. They're absolutely going to try to protect themselves. They're going to try to learn. They're going to try to do all this type of stuff to make sure that their lives are easier and they can, they can keep doing what they've been doing. Like you know what I mean. And then, <clears throat> and before, like I said, I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet. But before I go, y'all, there's another. Like, if the narcissist tells you to block someone, if you just get to know them, or if you're married to them, it really doesn't. The time literally doesn't matter. If they Tell you to block somebody you don't know that you've never met that has never messaged you. That's also that's also one of these. If your narcissist goes on your phone, like, hey, block that person right there. Go ahead and block them. Hey, can you block uh Lee Hammock? Can you hey babe, can you block this guy named Lee Hammock? Or or they might actually take your phone and block them yourself themselves. Go check look, go check their block people. Sorry, y'all. Um, do do this test right here. If you feel like your partner's been cheating on you or something like that, go into your own phone. <clears throat> go on Instagram and look, or Facebook or whatever, and look to see if you have any people that you that that are blocked that you yourself didn't block. Any reason, people? Like, like, who the hell is this? I know you might block a lot of fake pages, a lot of spam, or whatever. But go look for real people that you've blocked that you yourself didn't block. Because there are a lot of narcissistic people out there who will do that as well, who will go out there, who will go through your phone and block people that they're dealing with. They're block, they're go ahead and block uh, their affair partners on your phone. 
so that messages those messages can't come through or <clears throat> they'll block people on your phone when it just it like especially if you just get to know somebody y'all dating or they, look if you you might be the affair partner right you might be the affair partner so they might take your phone and block their husbands or wives so think about it like that they might be preemptively blocking people or telling you to block people that they're actually dealing with like they might be married or in a relationship and they'll go and they're cheating with you and they go ahead and block their partners or spouses on your phones this happens as well y'all it's like when they will tell you to block somebody that you don't know just waving the red flag um anyway y'all thank y'all for tuning in to another episode y'all houston texas dallas texas or dallas texas first dallas texas november 2nd houston texas november 3rd will be there next week seven exactly seven days from today we'll be in dallas and houston texas for our next live in-person events you can check mentalhillness.net slash events for more information um make sure you like and subscribe to this channel as we're creeping up on at 500k mental illness is up peace Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I am extremely grateful for you have no idea. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Helps reach more people and click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist. There's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through. Thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video. Peace.